at six now, a teenager arrested, accused of helping his friend commit suicide in the woods in New Hampshire. Police say that Parker Hogan practiced ways for his 19-year-old friend to shoot himself. As WBZ's Beth Germano explains, he was even there when the teen followed through with the plan. I just want the truth because I, don't, I just don't think that the, whole, the whole truth is there. Jennifer Phelps wanting the truth about what happened to her 19-year-old son, Michael Buskey. She doesn't believe he committed suicide in these woods near his Plymouth, New Hampshire home nearly three weeks ago. As time passes, the questions grow more difficult. For me, it's gotten worse just because I, don't, I still don't have all the answers, and it's just it's always in my brain trying to figure out, you know, the truth. Police say it's Buskey's friend and roommate, 19 year old Parker Hogan, who helped him take his life. A police report is filled with disturbing details that Hogan says he got the gun, showed Michael Buskey the correct angle to hold it, and provided pen and paper for a suicide note. As a friend, you would have thought as a friend he would have tried to get him help or call somebody that could help him, you know, and, and stuff. I, I just didn't understand it. Police say Hogan even told them he left the woods until he heard the gunshot and then returned to see if his roommate was dead. All a plan, he said, was Michael Buskey's. Jennifer Phelps says her son faced some hard times with a job and finances, but this goes too far. He had his problems, but he was such a wonderful, wonderful person, and he had such a great heart. Today, she walks near the woods that were a cherished place for her son, hoping police can determine if Parker Hogan's version of what happened is the right one. She draws at least some comfort from a nearby memorial. It's just beautiful, and it's heartwarming for me to see that and see how loved he was. Parker Hogan faces three counts of falsifying evidence. Police say he wiped his fingerprints from the gun, removed a suicide note from the scene, and some alcohol. He is now out on bail. Lisa? Beth, thank you.